Being the Lamb of God, and we've just given each other, uh, said the Our Father, and given each other the sign of peace, and now the Lamb of God, we're to take away the sins of the world. We are lining up for communion. All the other adults, the, the Eucharistic ministers, will begin to get their communion, and then eventually Father will be over to you, and you will bow reverently and hold your hands up and be sure to say amen. And then you'll do the same um, respectful posture when you're presented the blood of Christ if you're consuming the blood of Christ. When it's After you've gotten communion and all the priests and all the EMs are out of your way, you're going to clear the altar. The uh, tray with the saboria will be empty. This uh, may still be here. Please do not touch it. There will be two, maybe lids as well here. Please do not touch that either. So really everything to the right of where the, uh, the book is just needs to be left alone. We'll show you about packing that up and then the tray for the chalices. Sometimes the uh, purificators are on the altar. So remember, usually they're over here on this side. So remember to grab them, put them on the altar or on the tray and then take it. Team B has gone to their kneelers and Team A is going to clear the altar. Okay, we've packed up the priest tray and or the priest chalice and patent. It's going to be taken to the credence table. And the pall, the very hard square things, can be placed on top. And then the, the book is being removed. The stand remains on the altar. Okay, after you clear the altar and you bring back the priest chalice and the purificator, the patent's on top, the patent's on top, and then the pall goes on top of that. The pall stays here at the credence table. It doesn't get placed on the altar when you set the altar. It's just a reminder. Now the team A captain is going to get the um, corporal. And it's going to stand next to the sacristan, who is going to tell him or her when to cover the uh, saboria tray. So the Eucharistic ministers have turned in their saboria to Father, and uh, the captain's been cued to cover the, um, the bread tray with the corporal. And then he or she's going to pick it up and carry it to the credence table. When you pick up your corporal and you're waiting, you need to be sure there's enough room that there is space on the credence table for you to place your tray. After communion, the gates have closed and Team B's servers have joined Father in um, their seats and the captain is ready, Alex is ready with the closing prayer book. Let us pray. Nourished by this sacred gift, and their heavenly power has entered through Christ our Lord. Amen. We often now sit for special announcements and comments by our pastor. Remember, carrying something liturgical, we don't bow going in or coming out of Mass. Back to help clean up, and Team A, uh, team a would be going back to help clean up the four servers. The two that sat by Father, that captain, would be um, making sure all their garments from the previous Mass have been hung up nicely. Okay, so while Team B captain is uh, checking out, checking the uh, garments and hanging them up properly, the other server from Team B will come back to this room and pick up that basket. And I've draped over it a purificator, but inside of there will be, uh, you know, ones that have been used uh, with the chalices for, um, for the precious blood. So they'll just be in there all uh, mismosh. So just pick up the basket, take it to the, the cleanup sacristy by the altar, and uh, place the used one, just turn, turn the basket over onto the counter, and uh, leave the purificators there. But bring the basket back here empty and place it back here on the shelf uh, in this uh, room where the priests um, uh, get ready for Mass and uh, all the sacristans are. So. And thank you so much for serving.